Hi, it's Laura with Following the Paper Trail, and it's the 12th day of Christmas projects. We're at the end of the 2011 12 Days of Christmas projects. I'm so excited. Hey, what I'm going to be showing you today kind of takes us back to the first day because it's going to use the same sort of assembly of the binding, but this is just a super fun, cute, easy to do little album that can sit on your desk, it can sit on the table, something like that. Totally fun, fun, easy one to do. Uses envelopes in any size that you can come up with, any paper collection you want. You're going to just gather up envelopes in any size, shape. What a great way to use those envelopes that all those Christmas cards came in. So maybe you take all of those because you can use recycle that doesn't have to be new ones or just dig around and figure out what kind of envelopes you have. As I said, any size. Some of them, what you may be doing, if they're larger, after you seal them closed, you're going to cut them in half. Long skinny ones, same thing. Doesn't matter, policy, regular ones. Seal them closed, cut them in half. Other size, we're going to keep them the regular size. We're going to just seal them closed and we're going to slice them open. You can slice them open this way or this way. Either way works. Here's a little one. I'm going to seal it closed. I don't like to use the gum that's on there already. I use some adhesive to seal them closed. Again, close them up either direction. Any kind of size, any kind of style, any kind of flap. They can have the pointy flaps, straight flaps. Again, the long letter size. We're going to cut those in half. Anything larger like this, again, cut it in half. Now I used a grand total of 16 of them. Doesn't mean I have to have 16 envelopes because remember this is going to give me, these larger ones are going to give me two. But I need a grand total of 16 pockets made from the envelopes. Um, again, make sure you're going to cut them open but don't cut the bottom off even though we're going to be using my stack the deck um, binding method which I showed on the first day of Christmas. If you're not familiar with this, go to the first day of Christmas projects for 2011 and I show you how to use this. This is probably one of the most versatile binding methods that I have used personally. I'm so excited to have come up with it to share with you. We're going to be using that this one again for this album even though it's not an album that's going to get bound into a chipboard um, album itself. It's basically being put into a little box. Now I'm going to show how to make this box and such on my Ustream show on December 30th because I'm going to be making this album again in more detail on December 30th, Friday night at 7 p.m. And I'll show you how to make a box. Don't want to do that? Raid your cupboard. You can find potentially a box in your cupboard that you can cut down and then cover it with paper. So you don't have to make one out of chipboard, but I will be showing you how to do that. You just need to find one in your cupboard that's the right size. To make your binding method, your, your stack the deck binding unit, what you're going to want to do is find your narrowest envelope in here. And my narrowest was one of these small ones that I cut the top off this way. So this was my narrowest width. So I'm going to make my stack the deck unit to fit that envelope. It doesn't have to slide over it. I just want it as wide as this envelope. Then I'm going to make this so that it has a total of eight fins. So this first piece I'm going to cut is going to be... It's got three quarter inch fins, a quarter inch, and three quarters of an inch. So this first piece is an inch and three quarters. The second piece is half inch larger at two and a quarter. The third piece is two and three quarters, again half inch step up in size. And the last piece is three and a quarter. And then you will score these, so each of the fins on all of them is three quarters of an inch. The channel in the center will get progressively larger by half an inch with each of them so that all of your fins are all the same size and you should have approximately a quarter of an inch in between all the fins once you stack the deck and attach those together with a nice strong glue or adhesive. So then that gives you your little binding unit. We then have some of our envelopes here I've taken and I've just cut them open, just sliced them open. Same here, you can see where I've closed the flaps down on both of these and then just slice them open to create pockets. 
Then what I'm going to do is rather than having these slide over the fins like I did on the original Stack the Deck, I'm going to put my envelope pockets into pairs and I'm going to attach the fin sandwiched in between these envelope pockets. So I will attach the fin, whoops, I'll attach the fin of the Stack the Deck unit to this envelope and then I'll put adhesive over the entire back of this envelope to attach like so, so that fin is sandwiched in between, but then I end up with two pockets. I'm going to do that to all eight of the fins, which is why I would need 16 pockets, because two pockets per um, fin. After I've done that, I can then attach pattern paper to the envelope, so it will flip through. You can see this is um, Echo Parks Times and Seasons. Is the paper on this one? Whoops. Get out of the camera view. So you can see how I've attached the paper to those em uh, envelopes. And then I can turn it around and go back the other direction. And you can see the paper on those envelopes, those paired envelopes. You could add embellishments if you wanted to in them as well. Then the next step of what I'm going to do is I'm going to create tags that fit down inside. You could add paper, um, uh, pattern paper to these as well as some embellishments to that top edge if you choose to. Or you can at this point leave them blank so that when you put the photographs in there, the photographs do the speaking rather than the paper. Um, so you're just going to cut your tags. I made all my tags extend an inch above the po envelope pocket. And then I cut them so that they're just narrower than the envelope, so that then they slide in and out real quick and easy. But then, as I said, you can just turn it around and it flips the other way. But it makes a fun album that can just sit on your table. Super easy. As I said, I'm going to be doing this on my Ustream show on Friday the 30th. But this basically gives you the gist of it. Um, after you've got your pattern paper and your tags on, um, and attach to your binding unit. Put strong adhesive or glue on this and you're just going to attach it down into the bottom of your box whether you're creating a box your base yourself or you're using one that you've stolen out of your kitchen cupboard. Either way is going to work. Plop that down inside there. You just want to make sure if you're choosing a box that your box is a little bit wider than your widest envelope. Super fast, super fun, super easy. Once again, it's what I try to do with the 12 projects at Christmas. So hopefully you can join us on the 30th. Also on the 31st, we're doing our second annual New Year's Scrap Bash. So join us then. We're going to have a ton of fun. We're going to be giving away prizes for those who got signed up. Unfortunately, sign-ups ended last night. But hopefully you got signed up for that. And we'll be working on this the night before. This will be on Friday the 30th. Hope to see you then. Thanks a bunch. Merry Christmas.